And the producer sat down and said to me, he said, that's really nice, Michael. It was very enthusiastic television people. He said, it's really nice. And you know that word's coming, but, right? <laughs> so they were going to come in and say, but could we hear it without the violins on the top? So I said, yeah. So you just get your mouse and go, that you, you, you can do that these days. And they know that, you see. They know they can change their mind. So they said, yeah, that's really, really nice. Really nice. Um, what do we do? Like, what's that in the middle? I said, well, that's the brass you asked for. You know, you want to make it regal and all that, royal deaths. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, could we hear it without the brass in? So you go, oh, you take the brass. Now, what's all that low stuff down the bottom? I said, that's all that nice, lush strings to suggest, you know, the kind of, again, the, the, the intrigue of the age. And they said, mm, yeah. Can we hear it without that? And gradually we went through it and we virtually took out every single thing and then until there was a chord going on that changed you know, every, I don't know, four or five seconds. And they said, that's what we'll use. That's really nice. Can we have a version like that? They said, give us the others as well. But we'll, we'd like to have just that version as well because it would just be really nice because we won't hear it. <laughs> and at that point, you just... <laughs> You wonder why you've actually decided to write any music. Can you imagine that if you did that for your, your music assessment or whatever it is? You know, and it says, a really nice piece, but uh, could you just sort of scrap most of it so we just hear the bass line or something? So the next morning, as I said, I came into my studio and I was a bit cross, a bit miffed, and I get a bit like that sometimes. <laughs> and I sat down at the piano, I've got to use my other hand now for some reason, and I thought, what's the simplest idea I can think of? And I went, I'll just parallel fifths if these are called. If you're a musician, you know what I'm talking about. I'm told never to use these if you're trying to write pretend 18th century music. And it just had literally this thing going round and round. Now, you may recognise it, hearing it in that programme there. And then there was a bit at the end with sort of low notes here, very meaningful stuff. But this thing still went down like this, and there was stuff on the top that came in like this. You know, sort of poetry style. Huh? And it gradually built up into a sort of big layer thing, and then eventually it ended up going back to this again. And I thought, well, that sounds quite even. I quite like that. It's so boring. Anyway, so when we actually came to do the, the mix uh, down for the different music, um, I said to them, oh, by the way, I've given you this extra track, just in case, you know, you just need the old thing here and there, extra bit of music. And they said, oh, lovely, Mike, fantastic, yeah. And then when it went out, we did five one-hour films, right? Five hours of television. Uh, I can't tell you how many times that tune, tune? <laughs> that bit of music was actually used.